2014. In West Africa, the Ebola virus continues its exponential spread. Hospitals are swamped with patients, and the already weak healthcare infrastructure begins to collapse. Virologists from around the world come to help. Dr. Daniel Bausch, a specialist in viral hemorrhagic fevers, is one of them. He has dealt with killer outbreaks before. But the situation at the Kenema Hospital in Sierra Leone is unlike anything he has encountered. That whole experience in Kenema almost seems like kind of a bad dream. You know, you dream that you're someplace that you know that uh, that everybody's getting Ebola and, and dying, and it, it seems like something that can't really be real. Ebola is not an easy thing to die of. It's not only that you die, but it's a very painful disease. The hospital in Kenema quickly turns into Sierra Leone's largest Ebola treatment unit. In the fall of 2014, Ian Crozier becomes its lead clinician. I've never seen anything quite like this particular virus. So not only does it kill a lot of people, it kills them very aggressively and at a pace that is um, shocking. You're, you have fever, but it's fever that comes with terrible joint and muscle ache. And often rigors, teeth chattering chills that can knock people out of bed. Then the gastrointestinal phase begins, liters and liters and liters of uh, diarrhea and lots of vomiting, 